welcome, welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop. Now, right off the bat, if you are a strummer or an aspiring strummer, go ahead and click the link below down there in the description tab. There is a video that is not on YouTube that totally breaks down how to strum, how to count, how to do all that stuff to make sense of what's going on. So, this song is awesome, very cool, off a new album. Now, this is a live clip, so I watched it, so it could be different. You know, people kind of artistic expression may be different a little bit, but you'll get the gist of it. And also, if I sound like I am had a shot of Novocaine or something, I cannot hear at all out of this ear. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it is crazy. It sounds like I'm playing acoustic underwater, so forgive me ahead of time. But anyways, let's zoom in for a closer look. All right, to do this one, we're gonna tune down to drop D. Now, this is a live clip that I watched of this song, so it may be a little bit different than the new album, but I'm assuming it's pretty close. So, what we have is a D chord, and then we're gonna take off our first finger in this first little riff. So, let me show it to you. Okay, so the pattern is So the first part Okay And then the next part when we take off our first finger is just up down up down up down up. So we got. And we're just going to do that four times, and that'll get us into the verse. Now it's going to have more of a straight pattern. It's going to sound like this. Okay, now you can do that two ways. You can go on this E minor chord. Well, let's just start off with a D chord. So we got. That would be one. Okay, so it's down, down, up, up, down. We're going to do that four times per chord. So one, two, three, four. Switch. So what you saw me do now is an E minor chord, but since we're in drop D, we're gonna have to cover this second fret of this low E string as well. So you're gonna bar second fret E, A, and D. Now in the first strum pattern, you saw me with my ring finger down on the third fret. So we had our D chord. I just don't take it off from the D chord, and I go up to this chord. I take it off for the second strum pattern. Put it back on, and then back into our intro riff, which is going to happen in between each verse riff and in the choruses as well. We're always going to come back to. Right? Verse 2. Or the second part of verse 2. So that whole sequence will happen twice. So let me play. We've already done the intro. Here's what the verse is going to be like.
gonna set us up for the chorus, which is very similar. It just has a couple extra chords thrown in there. Now the cool thing about drop D is you can basically do chords with one finger and it's gonna look like this. Right, and that would be our chorus. So it's gonna sound like this. What we're gonna do is start off with a D chord, then go to that E minor chord, scoot it up to the fifth fret, which would basically be a G chord, two more frets, A chord, and then back to D. Okay, where we're gonna do our little riff, but one time. And then you'd go into the second part of the chorus, which is the exact same thing as the first. So broken down slowly. Now switch. Switch. So what you're basically doing is two strum patterns now on the D. Switch to E, minor, two strum patterns, one, one, rip, once. Again. Switch. Rift twice. Now you're gonna go into verse two, which is similar to the first, but it has a little bit of a tweak to the progression. What we're gonna do is we're still gonna do D to A, or D to E minor rather, but then it's gonna happen again before we switch into the next part of the verse. So it's gonna sound like this. So what we did is you just basically do D to E again, but now you do it half as long. You do two strum patterns instead of four. So the first one would be four. Now we're gonna do the chorus again. Same thing we did in the first round. And then at the very end, we're gonna add a couple times of just straight G to A at the end. So it's gonna sound like this all together.
Yes! Way to go. Awesome job. You guys are amazing. Again, don't forget the strum link down below in the description. If you want to learn how to strum, it'll get it done. That didn't rhyme at all. <laughs> now, here comes the thank you part. You guys are amazing. I love it. You're awesome. Remember, we are creating the goal of this channel. Positivity. Love. Giant guitar playing family all over the world. So whether you're in Russia or the United States or Afghanistan or Thailand or France or Germany or Spain, you guys are always contacting me and I love it. So let's all jam. Let's be bros with and, and sisters with one another and play and have fun and just bring on the love. That is the goal here at Pop Stash Pop. Thank you as always for watching. We'll catch you next time.